I've got two very advanced examples here that are of the utmost importance. So stay tuned. Let's examine these. In my top example, I'm going to partition each interval one month. We're going to go with the years 2009 to 2013, five years of partition data. Now here's what I want you to see about this. The years actually 2012 currently. So we're going to take three years of older data. We're going to take one year of the current year 2012 and we're planning for the future and we know that 2013 is coming since our table set up for five years of partitioning. As we load data in 2013, it's no problem. One thing about 2014 that you need to know, and when you start trying to load to this table in 2014, you're going to hear a big conk and they go, what happened? They go, it's not loading. Why? Because we're loading from 2009 to 2013. We've said we've got five years of partitioning statement. After that, we have to alter the table before we can load anymore. And quite often people will say, listen, I'm going to get rid of the 2009 data because I only want five years and we're going to add the 2014. But that's a difficult statement. So take a look at the bottom area here. You go, ooh, mommy, where's that coming from? This is complex. I'm doing the same exact thing. It's 2012. I'm going from 2009, 10 and 11, the current year of 12, and 13. But I'm doing it in this more advanced way. Why would I do that? You'll soon see. When we use the more complex version of our five years of dates, the brilliance behind that little formula there is that when you want to alter the table because it's the next year and you still only want five years of data, all you have to do as 2014 comes around is say, alter the table to current with delete. Goodbye, 2009. When you're doing partitioning. It's important that the DBA always makes the partition wide enough in the future so as you're loading data, it's no problem. Now, what's so nice about this current formula for dates, when you create this table, it says, oh, from the current date, you want three years of previous data, one year of current data, and one year in the future. Oh, I get that. So when the future comes and it's time to alter the table, it's so much simpler than saying, well, now I need from 2010, 2014, I need to delete or save. It's a lot of work on that alter statement. This is not a lot of work on the alter statement. As you can see, alter the table to current, but I'm not going to delete that previous year of 2009. In this case, I go, I want to save it to a history table, and I'll back that up and take it off myself. Those are my options. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.